I'm out here taking pictures of the comet. I'm in a dark sky location, probably like Bortle 3. I'm going to type in to Star Rock 2 the name of the comet. So I would type in A6. So A6, so we're going to see C2025 A6 lemon. I'm going to click on that and it's going to highlight it and we're going to see it right there. So we kind of move it around and we can see, okay, there's the west. Okay, and kind of get an idea, like we can orient ourselves and get an idea of like where that comet is. We can also find like stars in the sky. So we could say, oh, okay, there's the Big Dipper. It's just, you know, to the left or to the west of the Big Dipper. But Star Rock 2 will actually give you more accurate information than, than just that. You can click on the name where it says C2025A6 Lemon. We're going to click on this thing on the right that looks a little bit like an A. That is a mathematical compass. Now it's going to give us all this data. What we're looking for is you know we see our date and our time and all of that uh we can see the altitude so alt we can see it's about nine degrees uh above the horizon so that's pretty good uh five degrees is about the width of your four fingers so if you hold that up to the horizon the other thing that we're looking for is the azimuth so that azm we can see that's at 301 degrees so those are degrees like on a compass so if you had a compass then you could point your compass to 301 degrees if you don't have a compass don't despair you probably have one on your phone or you can download one as an app so i find your compass works a little bit better if you hold it horizontally so 301 so i'm going to hold that I'm going to point that compass in that direction and then I'm going to look and basically what I'm looking for is anything that I can use as a reference point, any bright star that I can see, anything on the horizon. Like right now there's a little town in front of me that is a, is about at 301 degrees. So I can use that. There's a bright star kind of above that. And so I know, okay, that's about where I'm going to look. So if I have a wide angle lens, you could use your compass like that and you get your camera all like pointed it, you know, at 301. And if it's a wide angle, that's probably going to capture the comet. If you have a longer lens, it's a little more trial and error. You might have to kind of, you know, get it set in that area. Maybe find some of those bright stars as references. You may need to take a test shot. If you're trying to kind of plan of where it's going to be, you can also adjust the time. As you can see here, I can press and hold on this and I could adjust it so I could, you know, figure out what is it going to look like tomorrow? You know, where's it going to be around eight? Okay. And then I could figure out like, where's it going to be? And I could kind of get an idea uh, for my shot. So there's a lot of powerful things that you can do in Star Wars 2. And that is how you find the comet.